Now, in the free giveaway folder, there's also the copy paste material setup. If you're using Unreal Engine 4.11, then you can copy and paste this, Ctrl A, Ctrl C. And if you're in the material editor, you can just press Ctrl V, and you'll have the whole setup available here. This goes into the emissive color, this goes into the opacity or opacity mask, depending on what you want. In my case, it will be translucent, and there are texture samples missing. Here, you just place those, of course, you have to do that yourself, but this is how easy that goes. Hope that helps. So, along with my free noise pack, I also included this material, and I'm gonna highlight some stuff and explain you how to get them. As you can see, there's a noise multiplier here, noise horizontal panner, speed, and obviously you can't find them in the category here. What I did is basically hold down the S key on your keyboard and left mouse click, and you'll get this. It's a scalar parameter. And if you change the name here, like noise size multiplier, that's what you get here. And you can also set the default value and slider and minimum and maximum, of course. Uh, anything else? The masks are component masks. So if you place down one of these, you can change the R, G, and B value. And in the first case, it's R. In the second case, it's a green value. As you can see here. Oh, pardon me. As you can see here. And if you want R, G, you can enable them both. There. Uh, lighting panner is the same, hold down the S key and you get a scalar parameter and that basically goes for most of those green things. A color one is a little bit different, if you hold down um, the 4 key and left mouse click you'll get this, right mouse click on it, convert the parameter, there we go, you'll name it color there and you have something that's identical to this. Uh, what else do we have here? And I think that's actually most of the things you'll need. If you want to pop down a texture sample, you can hold down the T key, left mouse click, you'll get a texture sample. And if you want to change it in a material instance, you can convert it to a parameter where you can basically just call it texture bottom or whatever. And you can, in your material instance, change the texture on the fly. Mm, let me double check. I think that's all the things you need to know. Alright, if there are any other questions, please ask and take care.